Kesri is inspired from the real story of the 21 Sikh soldiers who fought the 10,000 Afghans at Saragari. When the trailer came out for this movie, I, I watched it and although I largely liked it, I had pointed out certain flaws. I'm not going to go back into all of those details, but I'll put a link up to that video so that you can watch it. There will be certain spoilers in this video, but if you are familiar with the story of Saragari, nothing should come as a surprise to you. I liked how quickly the story gets into the field, where the actual battle is going to happen. I was a little bit apprehensive from the trailer that they will take this sequence of Akshay Kumar in the village with Pariniti Chopra and they, they will drag it out for at least until the interval when Akshay Kumar then ends up at Saragari. So I was pleasantly surprised when it started off right in Afghanistan, right in that area where ultimately this battle happens. Akshay is obviously center stage in everything that happens in this movie, so he's there right from the beginning, right till the end, in almost every frame. And his look with this heavy turban and this heavy beard, it was really impressive. I think this is probably his best sick getup ever. Infinitely better than anything that he has done before. Not the travesty that was there in Sing is King or Sing is Bling. This is what it should have looked like and it really works this time. There is a usual stereotype about the cruel British officer, but the rest of the 20 soldiers, I think they did a really good job. Although I'm not familiar with any of them, and there is a chance that they are not recognized actors, I have not seen them in anything else. They did a very good job of bringing to life these soldiers from small towns and villages uh, who have come to fight for the British. I had complained about the masalification of this story in the trailer reaction, and that holds true in the whole movie. Every time Akshay Kumar goes into those dialogues, it sounds a little bit untrue, at least to me. The treatment of how Pariniti Chopra's character comes in and goes out every now and then, I think that was really well done. Uh, I didn't have any complaints about that, especially because it did not distract from the story too much. And yet, there were other parts which were introduced which did not move the story along too much. So this whole track about this Afghan girl who Akshay rescues, and then these 21 soldiers going into the village to build up a mosque. Uh, I don't think they contributed to the story at all. I think it dragged down the pace uh, and I didn't enjoy that part at all. There are usually two types of Sardar characters in Bollywood movies. There is either the Joker or the ultimate pious pure man who just follows the scriptures to the letter. And both of these stereotypes are a little bit restrictive because they stop the character from having any shades of grey at all. The characters become very one-dimensional and you can't really enjoy them. I think this is where Saif Ali Khan's character in Sacred Games was such a breath of fresh air. But more about that in a different video. Akshay Kumar goes into this virtue signaling at every opportunity he gets and I think that was the real distraction in the movie not the war sequences and the bloodshed as a lot of the reviewers have complained. There's just fighting, screaming and slicing. A whole lot of killing and slashing and humans cutting up other humans. There are 10,000 soldiers surrounding these 21. They are going to fight to the death. What do you expect? If anything, I think the fight sequences were the highlight of the movie and it took too long to get to that point. The action sequences were really well done especially the hand-to-hand -hand combat when Akshay Kumar uses the sword, then the chakar and then the paj to kill the mullah in the end. That was the highlight of the movie and that was really well done. Some of it was almost like a graphic novel, comic book style violence, which I really enjoyed. I think it was, it came across on the screen really well. A particularly stunning visual sequence was when one of the soldiers is killed on the stairs and there are so many swords that go through him that he's almost lying on a bed of swords. That part I think was really well done and it showed a visual flair which was quite impressive. Akshay's movement with the sword and his whole fight, this sense of claustrophobia that was created and these overhead shots which showed the fight, uh, I really enjoyed them. This is what I wanted from the movie. I knew the story but I wanted this good treatment of those fight sequences and I got that from this movie. So, so people who complained about the bloodshed in the movie. But the violence is so much, so prolonged, it begins to give you a headache. And in one scene, Akshay drives a sword through four soldiers as if they were kebabs on a skewer. They probably shouldn't have gone to watch this movie. This is what the movie was always going to be about. The battle sequence is the only one which is properly documented and everything else around it has been created from the writer's imagination. The rest of the war sequences left me a little bit unsatisfied. Uh, the CGI was fairly poor. The explosions and then the last and the youngest soldier, Gurmukh Singh, when he comes out on fire, I think that was really poorly done and that was a letdown. Special mention for this effeminate Afghan sniper, I don't know what he was there for. 
I thought he would do something special or Akshay would go in and do something special to kill him. But the way he was ultimately eliminated, that's just stretching the boundaries a little bit. Sniper rifles are not just a rifle and a scope attached. Like the way it was shown, that's not how sniper rifles are supposed to work. But the hand-to-hand -hand fight sequences, they rescued the whole movie in my opinion. Let me know what you thought of the movie. Do you agree with the things that I've said? Was there anything else that you noticed and I missed? Write it down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends and family. Until next time, bye-bye.